I'm here with the great Mrs. Kara Mims. Liz Moore and Associates. There yeah. we go. So today's top topic is real estate. Mm -hmm. So how long have you um, been in real estate? So I got started in real estate in 2003. Um, I received my license to be an active real estate professional in 2006. And I've had my broker's license since 2010. Congratulations um, on that. That's thanks. a big thing. I'll it be, is. It I'll is. I've been learning uh, throughout my real estate courses that that's what you need in order yes. to be successful in real estate. Well, and that's the thing. It gives you options. So as soon as I received my broker's license, everyone said, oh, are you opening up your new firm? And I said, no, <laughs> that's not what I did it for. Um, actually, I, the reason I did it was because I wanted to be a real estate instructor. Um, I used to teach principles of real estate, so people that were right. looking to get into real estate. And um, that was something that was going to help my resume in reference to doing that. So that's why I did it initially. Um, but I explained to people it's good to do it. Um, in Virginia, you have to be licensed for three years. And the biggest thing is that it gives you options. So my philosophy is I never want there to be an opportunity that I'm not qualified or I'm not able to take advantage of because I don't have something. Um, so yeah, so I have my broker's license and then I have my ABR designation. So ABR is accredited buyer's representative. Okay. So able to help me um, as far as providing resources to my buyer clients. And then also I have my ePro, so that's my um, internet professional designation. Okay, that explains um, a lot. <laughs> yes, as far as social media. <laughs> um, and, and just how to communicate with people on the internet and that kind of thing. And then I'm actually in the process of um, obtaining my GRI, which is stands for a Graduate Realtor Institute. Um, I've completed my courses. I just have to submit my application for that. Um, and I always say that's kind of the equivalent of going to graduate school, nice. you know, getting um, your graduate degree. So, yeah, education is very important to me. So anything that I can do with that, I'm, I'm happy to do. So you had a, a, a long career in real mm -hmm. estate compared to a lot of people. I've done a lot of research, and it seems like a lot of real estate agents, if you go on YouTube, it's like um, three years and then they're done. Mm -hmm. So what what was it that separated you to have this longevity so far? I know I'm it's crazy. Been that long. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it, and you're right. And I think that that's honestly with a lot of business owners. Um, they say it takes three to five years for you to kind of get over that hump and to have long term success. Um, I was very fortunate. So when I very first got in the business, um, I was single and I was at home. <laughs> so so that was helpful because I didn't have a lot of real bills um, and I was able to kind of cultivate. Um, the the foundation of my career, which was built on education. Um, I've mostly spent um, my time, my energy, and my money on doing my business by referral. So I meet a client in whatever way that may be. Um, a lot of times it's by someone referring them to me. I just try to do the best that I can for them and continue to provide services for them, you know, in the future. Um, and so that was a huge part of it. Um, I actually, you know, got engaged and married and, you know, had kids in the first part of my career. Um, and I think a, a, a huge part of it is what I, I guess, promote or am always so thankful for, which is my village. Mm -hmm. um, I've been fortunate to have some really amazing mentors in this business. Um, I work at Liz Moore, so there is an actual Liz Moore, um, and then Donna Moyer, who is my um, direct broker. broker. Um, but I've been fortunate with um, a lot of mentors in the industry um, mm -hmm. as well. And I think to the fact that I'm always learning. So I, I never think I know it all. Okay, right. <laughs> um, and I think because of that, the clients that I come in contact with, that's usually what attracts them to me. The fact that I'm knowledgeable, the fact that I'm approachable. Um, my philosophy is this is a team, you know, a team um, adventure of sorts. So, you know, I bring the experience and the expertise, but at the end of the day, the client is the one that's signing on the dotted line. So I really try to be in tune with what their needs are and how I can help. Um, I know I'm in sales, um, but I don't like to say I'm a salesperson. I truly love to help people. And so that's, that's the energy that I come in with. How can I help you reach your goal, whether it's buying or selling? I think a couple of things you said that uh, really stood out was, first of all, that it's a business. So. Technically, real estate agents are self-employed, or we are independent contractors. No, now, so like there are different models, but most of us are independent contractors. Okay, so the whole mindset of going into it—it it has to be different, right? It's not like you're clocking in to a ball. Absolutely. 